So I'm Philippe Barnes and uh, I'm a flute player. Uh, I'm playing with an uh, Arabic flamenco fusion band uh, with Atta Haddad, the oud player, who you might have heard on Blood Diamond soundtrack. Uh, I have a duo with Tom Phelan, the piano player, uh, but we've just got a new album that's, that's come out um, just called Philip Barnes and Tom Phelan. It's a, a culmination of me trying to make the silver flute sound like a wooden flute. When I was listening to James Galway records, when I was, you know, first started out as a flute player, as, as we probably all did, um, I came across James Galway and the Chieftains album, which has uh, Matt Malloy playing wooden flute on it, and uh, I was really taken by that. I set about learning the tunes on the silver flute and um, just adapting all the ornamentation to to uh, to suit the to suit the keywork. At the age of 11, I went to secondary school and I started the flute um, with Liz Goodwin. Uh, I was very lucky that she runs Flutewise, the organisation for young flute players, and so there was always. Uh, flute days and uh, master classes and, and fun things to do um, but she started us off with the fife so we had um, one term on the fife which is the little indestructible uh, plastic flute which is great I think for kids because you can start to play music you can start to read music um, you can kind of get get the coordination in your fingers without worrying too much about you know dealing with a a big flute you if you've um, you know you don't need to worry about being clumsy with it it's a great way to to really focus on getting your embouchure right without worrying about any of this because this I think this can look a bit daunting to start with with the fife you're just literally worried about the the six holes where you put your fingers um, you can really focus on getting a good sound it was really nice uh, you know, there's there's duets and there's trios and quartets and things in the in the book, so we you know get to play with each other. And I think that's um, probably my top tip for anyone would be that playing with other people is really important, and that listening to other people is really important. Whether that's when you're playing with other people, really paying attention to what's going on around you and not what you're doing. So we did a term of five, which is about eight to ten weeks, I think. Uh, it was other like autumn term, so autumn, winter, September to December. Um, so by that stage, you know, we had a good few notes down, um, most of the sort of basic rhythms, and then the idea was that at Christmas you got your first flute. But when I, f I found that from doing that first term on the fife that when I got the flute, I already knew how to make a sound, I already knew how to play some things. Um, and because the embouchure is a little tighter on the fife, it's a smaller thing, you know, similar, more similar size to a piccolo, when you get the flute, it's so easy to play and you get such a great sound out of it. It meant that I really wanted to practice loads. And I think that's really good in the first stages of learning. And then when you get the the real flute, it's like you've kind of leveled up. It's like a sort of gamification of um, flute learning in a way. <laughs> 